Terry Gilliam has turned the spare bedroom of his modern Putney flat into a miniature film studio. And that's where he puts the animations together. This particular scene was at the end of an arts program. David, it's just a photographic thing cut out. We've got a fig leaf on him, and I've fixed his arm so it can move. At this point, a hand starts coming in, closing in to grab at the fig leaf. The hand is just, the arm is just a piece of paper that I've drawn this stuff on. The hand is a photograph hand. When we get in here, this close, to show the hand closing in on the fig leaf, I've got three hands here, all in different positions. We merely change this one for the middle one and finally to the last position and it's now gripping the fig leaf. At this point, David's hand comes down, smacks the hand a couple times and knocks it out of the way. This goes on a couple times. The last time, the hand comes in and is successful in grabbing onto the fig leaf and despite the fact David's hand is beating it away, he holds on. At this point, we cut in to David's uh, close up of David's uh, lower torso. It's now got the fig leaf in position. Again, cut out hand is holding on to the leaf there. A much larger blow up of the other hand is holding on here. Tug of war now ensues, pulling back and forth. Eventually, it's pulled away, this hand resides. And here's the censor, John Trevelyan, over David's groin, shouting something about the fact that uh, we're not about to allow this sort of smut on television. His mouth is just cut out and runs up and down. That's how he talks. At that point, a real hand, mine, comes in with a rubber stamp and smashes down on his face. The rubber stamp was actually a larger version of this. Underneath it, then once the hand is in position, we hold it and we slip this under, stopping the camera and lift the hand up again, we've got censored across the face, and that's how it's done. to allow this sort of smut to be shown on screen. How does the sound work? Well, a lot of the sound effects come from just the BBC library, from discs, but doing these things on television, they've sort of got a feeling that real sound effects aren't as good as sound effects I make myself, you know, because by the time it comes out, the little speaker, you end up with very, very bad sound. So a real sound effect is, is too subtle. It's got too many things going on. So I do make sounds with my mouth. So they, you know, <laughs> things like that. And so uh, rather than hitting, hitting somebody where you get a real sound like this or that, I go and I get hit on the head. And uh, when feet stamp on people, they go <laughs> arms come off. <laughs> And so it's that sort of noise. And they, they come out very good on television, better than anything you could you know, use off a disc. You can't find too many arms ripped off on discs and things like that. <laughs> 